10 tips you're probably sleeping on in Premiere. Let's go. Number one. So auto ducking is a pretty neat feature that a lot of people sleep on. What we'll do is we'll go to essential sound and then we'll select all the dialogue that we want. Then we'll make it a dialogue type and then we'll go to the music and we'll make it a music type. We highlight the music and then we go to ducking, we turn on the switch and then we go generate keyframes. And what's cool is that it'll automatically duck where the dialogue is, but you can actually move the fade position now, which was a new feature, it wasn't there before. And if you move it to like towards the middle, it actually brings the fades in, which is the biggest criticism I had from the previous auto ducking feature, but now it works really nicely. Number two. Now color matching is a feature that people may not know exists because you might not be diving through the Lumetri color panel that much. So let's select the clip and we'll go to Lumetri color and let's go to color wheel and match. Let's go to comparison view. What I've got here is a whole bunch of stills that we can actually choose from to actually match that we like. So let's highlight the matrix and then we'll go color apply match. And then as you can see, it applies the color it best can from the matrix. Let's go to another one and we'll go to Moonrise Kingdom and let's apply the match again. And we'll go to Top Gun Maverick and apply the match again. As you can see, it's a really useful tool, especially if you have cameras with multiple types of white balance, you can use this to basically match your cameras. Number three. Now we've got our young girl here again. Now, a lot of people will basically just use the cut tool to basically cut their stuff on the timeline like this, but there's a much easier way. If you just highlight what you want and press Command K, it's a lot easier to just come in and that way you don't have to keep reaching for the cut tool or pressing C to get to the cut tool as much as you like. And for those extra points, you can press Shift and Delete and it'll actually ripple delete all things that you don't want and actually shrink that gap for you. Number four. Right here I have an audio clip that is very low in volume. I'll show you right here. As you can see, it's very, very low. So what we can do here is press audio gain and then go to normalize peak amplitude and press minus six and it'll actually bring everything up. Alternatively, you can actually do it manually. You can adjust the gain or you can set the gain. Number five. So the audio track mixer is an alternative to just dragging individual effects onto each of the individual clips on your timeline. So for example, if I wanted to put a multiband compressor on each of these, I'd have to drag and a multiband compressor onto each of them and then I'd go in and try and affect change the effects on these multiband compressors separately. But instead of doing that, what you can do is go to the audio track mixer, which if you go to window and go audio track mixer, and then pick the timeline that you've got. In this case, we're going audio track mixer. You can actually go up here and select, say for example, a particular plugin that you want. In this case, we want the multiband compressor. We'll set it to one of the defaults, which is pop. And that'll apply the effect to everything that is happening on the timeline. It's a bit like an adjustment layer, but for audio. Number six, <laughs> I've got this really basic linear keyframe animation of One Punch Man. As you can see here, it's just very basic. So what we can do to make that a little bit better is we can go temporal interpolation, ease out, and then temporal interpolation, ease in. And as you can see, it gives us Bezier handles, which is very nice, and that definitely looks a lot better. But we can go one step further and actually grab the handles. What we can do is twirl down this, and then grab the handles and pull them in so they're actually a little bit sharper in the middle and look at this animation and this looks a lot better. Time for our sponsor. Ever had that moment where your boss comes in and wants some motion graphics ASAP, but all you can think of is, ain't nobody got time for that. Well, cut those times in half using the Lyric Video Creator Kit. 22 customizable presets, templates, motion backgrounds, and best of all, you don't need any After Effects skills. Just drag and drop them onto your Premiere timeline and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Grab that Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description today so you can get out of work early and go sit on some beach somewhere or wherever it is you like to go. You do you. Seven. A quick way to duplicate an object on the timeline is to just highlight it, then hold Alt or Option and then just drag it up. And that automatically just gives you another copy of that object. And as you can see here, we've now got three copies of the same object, which is fantastic. Eight. Now duplicating objects in the project panel can be a little bit different. Normally you would just go up here and go duplicate, but you can press shift command or shift control forward slash and that'll duplicate your project. Nine. Now I'm sure a lot of you haven't slept on this, but just in case you don't know, if you have an audio track that doesn't quite go long enough, say you want it to go for four minutes, you can actually go here and go to the remix tool and go enable remix and then type how long you want for it to go for. Let's say four minutes and then it'll automatically stretch everything out to four minutes. It does have mixed results. I don't think the algorithm gets it right every time, but for 99% of cases, it's pretty good. 10. 
So this one really helped me out in the pinch, especially when you're doing interviews and you're looking for particular quotes. So we'll go to window and go to text. And then we'll go to transcribe sequence and we'll go OK. And then everything that you're looking for is transcribed in the sequence. And what's even be better is that as you move the scrubber along, it actually highlights what word it's sitting on. So isn't that really neat? And the fun doesn't have to stop there. Check out this video on how I made a Breaking Bad anime opener in 300 hours. See you there.